Okay, so hopefully I can remember to look at the camera and not at the screen. I'm sorry if I look the wrong way. Now, uh, this video is about why I like pelfish. So this is my personal information. This is about me and not every teacher's experience. This is my own personal experience, okay? So I'm using this as like an introduction video since I've been doing a lot of um, tutorials on Palfish use, like the screenshot videos on how to use different functions. And of course, if you have any questions about other functions, let me know. I can make more videos for different functions. Okay. Um, so let's just get into it. So basically, I've been with Palfish since January 29th, well, 26th is when I joined Palfish. January 29th is when I passed the OKC, the official kids course interview stuff. So I've been with Palfish since January. It's yeah. now May. Boys, can you be quiet? Shh. It's now May. So I've been with them January, February, March, April, three months and a couple weeks. Okay, so it's not very long, but I've been in Asia teaching for over 10 years. So in the classroom, in brick and mortar classrooms. So there's some things that I can compare. Okay, the one thing is the curriculum. Okay, so Palfish is using big English, which is from Pearson. It's real curriculum. If you know anything about working in Asia, in China, Korea, Taiwan, you know they make their own stuff. These schools want to be individual and they want to have their own, the best course plan ever. So they create their own material. And generally, it sucks. That's it. There's not much you can say. It's grammatically wrong everywhere. It's weird. The wording is like really old school. It's just not good material. So the fact that Palfish has recently changed to use real curriculum, to use big English, is really great. I'm finding that amazing. Uh, yeah, the slides have errors. There are still grammar errors. You gotta remember human error. These are Chinese people interpreting the big English book into slides. Now I've checked, I have the big English book. They're literally copying it word for word. So those errors are typos on the staff's part. They're working on that. Hopefully they will fix it soon. But it's better than what most places offer. Now, as to like being paid and penalties and stuff. Now I follow a group on Facebook that's for ESL teachers online. And I've seen how other people complain about other things. I've even seen, like, a couple weeks ago, Palfish had a huge crash. And during the crash, everyone was like, oh, are we going to get paid, da, da, da. And some people were replying, oh, no, I work for other companies, too. And they put all the blame on the teachers. You're not going to get anything. That's it. We're going to lose all this money. Well, guess what? That didn't happen. Palfish took responsibility for the glitch that was their error, their system crash. They not only reversed all penalties and bad records from teachers, they also paid us for the classes we missed. So Tuesday night, the glitch happened at 7.30 p.m. and it lasted about two hours. That means everybody missed four classes. Four, that's a lot. And the company took the brunt for it. They took away the penalties that the system automatically dished out for teachers not being able to enter. They removed all those records. They compensated everyone for everything that was taken out. And then they even paid us for the classes we missed. Now, Tuesday, I take my son to Taekwondo. So I don't technically have many classes on Tuesday. I only missed one. I only missed my 8.30 p.m. slot. But... They still compensated me for that slot. And they compensated all the other teachers for all their slots. If you had a class in those times, they compensated you. You got paid even though you didn't teach. So, Palfish cares about its teachers. Yes, 
If something is wrong on your end, you're going to be penalized. Okay? That's all there is to it. But if the error is on the company's end, they do take care of it. And always screenshot. This is especially true for new teachers who don't know. When you enter the classroom, screenshot. Throughout the lesson, screenshot. 25 minute mark, screenshot. Okay, after you filed a report, you know you have no troubles, delete the screenshots, that's fine. But for your own safety, because sometimes there are small glitches that only affect a few teachers, you want to screenshot. Because you need that proof if you want to appeal any kinds of penalties or fines. Personally, I've never had an issue. I've never had a glitch that's caused me to appear late. I've never had a glitch that's caused me to leave early. I've never had a glitch that's caused me to be absent. I have a clear record so far. Knock on wood. But just in case, I still always screenshot. Now, the most important thing to remember is to manage your schedule. New teachers, Palfish has you when you're applying for OKC, official kids course OKC, you have to open up slots on your schedule and you may select random things and then you're waiting to be processed. As soon as you're processed, those slots can get booked. So you need to be ready for the slots you've opened. Now, if you open slots and you're not gonna be ready for them, you need to watch your phone and you need to close those slots as soon as your processing is done. This can be done very easy. I have a schedule, process, uh, schedule functions tutorial on my site or my YouTube channel. You can check that out. There's been some updates. iOS users are seeing a little bit different now. For those on the iOS that are not getting all the options that I show in my video, you get two options and the weekly one is highlighted orange. Just untick it and that will give you the daily option, okay? Make sure nothing is orange and then it means only open that one slot. If it's orange, then you're doing that item. So the top one I think is open weekly, open every day, and the bottom one I forget what it is. But there's two options instead of like five, which is simpler but yet more complicated <laughs> at the same time. Um, what else? I like Palfish, basically. I'm having a good time with Palfish. I've taught in numerous schools in Asia. I've taught privately. I still teach a few private students and they're unreliable. Take yesterday, for example. These students, they're adults, and I normally don't teach adults, but before I found Palfish, I needed a way to make money, so I took adults. And since they started last year in September, they come to class, they're supposed to have class every Monday. Every Monday from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m., Beijing time. Well, guess what? Every month, at least two times, they cancel. And they cancel last minute. They don't give me notification. So in recent weeks, I've been sending them a message earlier in the day. Hey, are you all sure you're coming today? But they still don't reply. Last night, nobody replied until well after 6 p.m. It's already too late for me to schedule Palfish classes for 7, 30, and 8 unless I'm very lucky. So, I lose a lot of money from these private students. It's actually quite troublesome and I'm trying to figure out what to do for them. Personally, Palfish is stable. Sometimes the students cancel slots, but if they cancel enough in advance, you will get another booking. If they don't cancel enough in advance, you have the opportunity to get trials. Otherwise, it's a break. It's a, just a little break. There's always emergency substitute pop-ups, there's personal requests. So, getting bookings on Palfish. This tends to be an issue with new teachers. They're like, how do I get more bookings? Well, you've got to market yourself. You've got to market yourself. There's different features on Palfish that you can use to market yourself. You can post moments. You can, po you can post lives. You can do some free lives or you can do the reading app. I do all three. So when I first started, I was posting upwards of six to 12 moments a day. Now I probably only post three, but I've got a full schedule. Um, I think they recommend you do about three lives a week. 
I've never done that many. I do, at first I did sporadic. I did like one here or there, and now I do at most once a week. Um, show your personality in your lives. Make sure they know what you're like. I'm crazy in class. I've been teaching kids for 10 years. I get crazy with my hats. Okay? I have crazy hats. I have puppets. This one, the kids can never figure out what it is. Do you know what it is? If you don't, it's a fish. It's a fi forward facing fish with a big wide open mouth, but the kids get confused. Um, I have reward systems. I have a very simple one. I put stickers on a bunch of magnets. The kids are good, I move a magnet over here. Good job, way to go! At the end of class, smush them over for the next student. I only show them this side of the board. Okay? I have a bell when we're doing games. They get a question right. I'm asking them questions. They do good. Yay! I'm loud. I've always been loud. Everybody knows me as the loud one. Okay? I also like to talk. I talk a lot. Okay? That's just me. I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I wrap this up. If you're a new teacher looking to join Palfish, it's good. But make sure you learn everything before you join, okay? If you have questions, feel free. I can give you my referral code if you want it, or I can just answer your questions. Um, I like to help people, and if I can, I will help you. If I can't help you, I will point you in the correct direction, okay? So of course, yes, using my referral code, great, thank you. But it's not necessary if you already have a friend inviting you and you're just looking for extra info. That's that. So I will include my referral code in the box down below, including my link and the referral code. Always use the referral codes. Don't use the links. The links don't work properly. Always manually enter the referral code, okay? It's the only guaranteed way that the referral is going to go to your friend and not to somebody else randomly on Palfish. This is my little classroom wall. I've added some random decorations. You can change them. Make sure you wear a blue shirt. Make sure you have your Palfish. These are literally just paper cutouts that I laminated and stuck on the wall. These are little wall stickers that I got a million years ago that I had sitting in a drawer and I stuck them up. So it's just that. My walls were already painted. My walls were painted three, four years ago when we moved to this house. Because when I originally moved here, I did daycare from home. But due to laws changing where I am, I can no longer do that. I did enjoy that, but it's a lot more work. Palfish has lesson plans already made for you. So for me personally, Palfish works. Does that mean it will work for everyone? Of course not. But should you give it a shot? Yeah, I think you should. But learn everything before you join. Do not miss classes because you didn't understand how the schedule works. Make sure your schedule is ready to go and set because if you're absent, you will get penalized. Does that mean you can never take off? No. Palfish is on a three week schedule thing. So you can see your schedule three weeks in advance. You can change things three weeks in advance. Students can only see two weeks, okay? You can change things three weeks in advance. If you need to make a big change in your schedule and a regular student who always books you at Tuesday at seven o'clock, you're not gonna be able to teach them anymore, make sure you send them a message to let them know. Let them know what your new times are. But you can always change your schedule. And Palfish does not have a minimum requirement. But they do recommend that you open three and a half hours during peak times in order to get trials. If you don't do that, it might be harder to get the ball rolling at first. Now on the Palfish website, I think it still says there's a 10 hour requirement. I've confirmed with admins, I've confirmed with mentors. That's not true. The only thing you really need to get trials is a three and a half hour peak time slot requirement. If you don't want trials and you want to just market yourself and get regulars, it's going to be harder, 
It's not gonna be easy, but you can probably do it. You just gotta market yourself. You gotta be good at marketing yourself. I think that's all I can say for now, but yeah, Palfish works for me. That's all there is to it, it works. I've been doing well, I've been doing fine. My schedule is steady and regular, and I've got enough classes that I'm making enough money for me. I will be honest, I make 1,200 US dollars a month currently. My first month I made 500, but after that I've been progressively getting 1,200. Um, for me that's enough. I mean, I could open more hours, I could do more classes and make more money, I could open weekends, but I probably won't. I only work really Monday through Friday and the occasional weekend. My weekend slots are not set to weekly. They are set when I know I can work on a weekend, which is not often. So that's me and that's how I handle palfish and I like it. So if you're interested, let me know. If you have questions, leave them below. You can find me on Facebook. Um, I'm in all the palfish groups basically. Um, or you can find me on the app. My palfish name, my palfish teacher name is the same as my YouTube name. So, it's right here too. Miss Melissa Ann. There's a million Melissas on the app though, so have fun. Um, so for now, see you later, and let me know if you need anything. Bye-bye.